the first of eight they're racing Persian Princess off the inside was the first to hit the ground Saxon Saxoff will push through though in the middle and Master Magician will go up on the outside of Sandalwood at the judge a hey, magic just behind those at the ready now eases back on the inside of juicing carrots and dropping out last in the early stages of the race is dude man bro they leave the Ascot straight going over to the 1800 meter mark and Saxon Saxoff got out to lead by almost two lengths Master Magician a length and a half away on the inside to Persian Princess with Sandalwood fourth at the readies down on the inside of Hay Magic and then came Juicing Carrots the tail ender is Dude Man Bro who'd settled six off the leader at the 1500 going up onto the next corner to the back of the course they head sacks on sacks off by two lengths Master Magician a similar margin Sandalwood racing over on the outside Persian Princess down on its inner fourth a length and a half to Hay Magic with at the ready next on the fence they're being followed by Juicing Carrots with Dude man bro caught up on the rails here at the 1200 going out to the riverside of the track jerry dosky wasting no time on sax on sax off in fact she's put the foot right down on the accelerator and she had them really running at the thousand sax on sax off takes off and leads by about six or seven lengths now on master magician a further three persian princess on the inside of sandalwood at the readies down on the inside of hay magic then juicing carrots with dude man bro still last of all as sax on sax off increases its margin they went by the 700 and he's in a race of his own noski trying to steal the first they come off the riverside at the 600 peg sax on sax off still by about six lengths master magician toes the others up to the leader which is now starting to get a little weary persian princess a length and a half away then came sandalwood at the ready down on the inside once it gets out it'll be right in the contest followed by hay magic and still well back in the field dude man bro sax on sax off at the 250 about a length and a half the master magician who quickly claims it they're three in front at the ready starts to run on from sandalwood hay magic master magician when they went to the hundred though got the better of sax on sax off and this is hay master magician master magician too good for sax on sax off brave in defeat third on the rail at the ready from sandalwood or dude man bro hay magic a gap persian princess and last home juicing carrots master magician First to grab the tearaway leader, Sax on, Sax off. At the top of the straight, at the ready, was back on the inside. He got the runs through, but there was just too much ground for them to make. 2.18, 61 here at the time. They ran it hard and they ran it fast. And it was Master Magician coming out of the Mount Barker Cup. And a game effort there that day. Went into the race, towed the others up to the leader coming to the corner and proved too strong. The Darren McCall of trained son of Universal Ruler wins Master Magician for Mitchell Pateman over Sax on Sax off at the big odds and with Jerry Noski back in the saddle and she really does understand the gilding. She gave her supporters a mighty run for their investment with at the ready in third placing. Sandalwood, it battled. Dude Man Bro was back there, a grinding run. Some disappointing performances, though, overall behind the top three. Master Magician for Impressive Racing's Kevin Berry and Partners, ridden by Mitchell Pateman, wins the opening race on the card from number eight, Sax on, Sax off by Saxon from Pride of Sir T, Kevin Green, Jerry Noski, and at the ready by my boy Charlie from She's Ready. Adam Durant, William Pike. 11.40, the winner. 7.80 the play, sax on, sax off. At the ready, $1.20. Sectional and margins to come after the opening event. Race two, the Amelia Park handicap. The three-year-olds running next at 154. Over 1,100, number seven, good fortune. The one scratching. Gareth Hall is back there where he does his finest work. And that's in the winner's enclosure. And he's about to catch up with Darren McAuliffe, who saddles up the opening Winner on the program, Master Magician, and a great effort to coming out of the Mount Barker Cup, Gareth. Do you know what, Mac? I went, in, I jumped in my Uber today, and my Uber driver said, Gareth, I've got a couple of tips for you, both from the Darren McCall of camp. And I said, Oh, okay. I asked D Mac. I said, Geez, your the words getting out. And he said, I don't know about this one today, but it's paid eleven dollars and went enormous. Yeah, well, the Uber driver drives me around. You know, what do you, what do you give to me? Nothing. <laughs> That's a very good point, mate. Um, um, today was a really good effort on a hot speed and pavement. Geez, he's in form. He goes to Kalgoorlie and rides a treble and gave that that uh, horse a, a gem of a ride. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's um, he's always ridden really well, but um, obviously struggles with the weights that he can ride at. So uh, 
we had every intention. We'd set this horse for, you know, second up in the Albany Cup and it was a bit of a, you know, it was a bit ridiculous with the weights, the way it was all set up with a high-weighted horse and it compressed all the weights and then it wasn't scratched until, you know, very late on in the piece and um, we had to make a decision to come here, so... Anyway, it's paid off. You've always had a lot of time for this stay. Uh, obviously, he's had his, his few problems. Is he difficult to get to the track to make sure that he's at his best? No, look, early days, he was pretty good. At the moment, the last two preps, he's just sort of had some little tender feet issues. Nothing really bad, but um, it's just something we've got to put a lot of effort and um, energy into. And um, big thanks to my wife at home. She'll be watching. And, um, yeah, uh, good effort by her. Is it one of these horses that you just have to place nicely now? Because it seems in these staying races, he probably goes up in the way again and they just take their turn? Yeah, I mean, they're much of a muchness. Um, you know, sometimes you can be victim of um, slow tempo and then today it's the complete other end of the spectrum. Um, you know, you have a tearaway leader set in a real solid, genuine tempo and, and that suited us. So, uh, um, yeah, it was our victory today and, um, you know, we'll just try and place him as best we can. Well, you're looking at Tree today. Don't worry about which is your better side. You're, you're, you're looking at uh, the complete package. Job well done. Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> There's Darren McAuliffe, ladies and gentlemen, and Mitchell Pateman. He went to Kalgoorlie, I don't know, just for a confident boosting meeting there with three winners. He comes to the big smoke and gives that ride a, a peach of a ride, Brittany. Um, 11 out of 10 there. Mitch, congratulations on the win. When Jerry was out so far in front, how were you feeling? Were you happy with the tempo you were going? Yeah, I was reasonably confident. He got into a pretty good rhythm. Uh, he's very relaxed and... When I did go to click him up, he sort of come up underneath me really well and um, he rounded her up coming into the straight and put him away pretty well. Coming into the race, were you pretty confident off that second in the Mount Barker Cup? I was very confident until a couple of the good judges, Scotty Embry and that, gave him no hope. Um, I was very confident. Um, I thought he's running the Barker Cup first up, was full of merit. Uh, he stuck on well and he mapped better today, so yeah. So you sure showed those good judges. Congratulations, Mitch. Yeah, you've got to show them every now and then, thanks. <laughs> you sure do. There we go, Mitchell Pateman winning the first with Master Magician Saxon Saxoff was one hell of a run and at the ready back in third. We'll be back before the second.